My name is Lloyd Barnett. I'm a member of the Independent Jamaica Council for Human Rights, which is the longest established uh, non-governmental human rights organization in Jamaica. Uh, and it has always been in favor of the abolition of the death penalty. There has been years of struggle to restrict the application of the death penalty, uh, principally through uh, the courts, by virtue of cases which have now become famous, uh, resulting in, first of all, that uh, a person cannot normally be executed uh, if they have been five years on death row. Uh, secondly, uh, the death penalty is confined to the uh, rarest of the rare cases, the worst of the worst. Uh, but what has recently happened is that uh, the Parliament has sought to reverse all that progress by altering the Constitution. The result of this is that uh, not only is uh, further progress through the judicial process uh, being frustrated, but uh, there could be a reversal of the progress which has been made so far. Uh, in fact, uh, at present, because of the strict restrictions on the application of the death penalty to the worst of the worst cases, only few cases result in the death penalty being imposed. And so there are only about seven persons on death row now, as against uh, several years ago when there would have been 50 or 60 persons. When uh, violent crimes increase, then the tendency is to say that the death penalty should be reintroduced as a method of, of solving it. Now, it has been not been established that that, uh, that has that result. In fact, there's evidence to the contrary that the uh, killing of people does not stop the killing of other people but um, creates a culture of violence. So that what we need to do is to convince persons that um, the imposition of the death penalty is not going to prevent crime. The, the crime is prevented by creating a, 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 an atmosphere and a culture of respect for life, which the death penalty is inconsistent with. Now, uh, this year, the World Day is dedicated to the Caribbean. Uh, you're talking about convincing the public. Um, what can people outside the Caribbean do to help you? What do you expect from the international abolitionist community? I think it is very important that they support, firstly, the establishment of a strong uh, civil society uh, network of abolitionists. Uh, secondly, that they help to create uh, that atmosphere, that um, understanding of the of the true nature of the death penalty, its unprincipled nature, and its futility uh, in the attempt to prevent crime.